ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू टॉपिक इट इज कॉल्ड पल्स ट्रेन जनरेशन और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज सीक्वेंस जनरेशन सो यू विल बी गिवन सम सीक्वेंस इन फॉर्म ऑफ पल्सेस एंड यू इट्स अ रिपीटिंग सीक्वेंस सो यू हैव टू डिजाइन अ काउंटर व्हिच विल गिव वन ऑफ द आउटपुट विल गिव द रिक्वायर्ड सीक्वेंस ओके सो इट इज अ काउंटर इन व्हिच वन ऑफ द फ्लिप फ्लॉप आउटपुट विल गिव अ रिक्वायर्ड सीक्वेंस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पल्स ट्रेन ओके so it's just simple one counter we will make and one of the flip flops output will give the required sequence okay so for example here you can see 1000 1000 1000 1000 1000 likewise you want a pulse train you are given a pulse train now to achieve this pulse train you have to design the counter in such a way that one of the flip flop output will give this output okay output train or pulses uh, so uh first zero clock first clock cycle it is 1 second clock cycle it is 0 third clock cycle 0 fourth clock cycle 0 fifth clock cycle again 1 sixth clock cycle 0 0 0 1 0 0 likewise it should give i am talking about only one flip flop in the entire counter okay one flip flop is giving you this kind of output so you can say just have uh, for the difference purpose uh, means so that you can see the sequence i have made it with black and blue black blue so the sequence will be visible to you so 1000 0 1000 0 1000 0 likewise it goes on right so this is what the aim of this topic is now there are two methods to do this one is using synchronous counter and one is using any counter means you can use any type of counter like asynchronous counter ring counter johnson counter johnson counter is another name of twisted ring counter then you can use bcd gray code any counter you can use to make uh, to to get the required sequence which is these guys then uh, uh, here you can see only synchronous counter will be used because clocks are given at the same time here you can see clocks are in asynchronous fashion and one of the output let's say q0 in most of the cases the output will be taken from q0 only so q0 is giving you the required pulse train which is this guy so we will uh, go one by one first we will look at uh, method 1 since we are in touch with synchronous counter right now so we will be looking at this thing then i'll give you a easier technique this is much more easier where you can use any counter and some combinational circuit and you will be able to uh, design the required sequence means whatever the sequence is required uh, by the user so this is broadly the topic is uh, we'll be studying two methods and i'll directly start with examples so that you will you will get the feel okay now let's take an example here to understand pulse train uh, generation uh, or sequence generation uh, here i have taken directly an example design a pulse train generator for the waveform given below this is the waveform given to you and you can see there is a there is a sequence here right one sequence we are trying to generate 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 and we keep on uh, generating this this set of bits this set of sequence or one sequence so here i have written in bits form 3110 then 3110 3110 3110 3110 and it keeps on generating means the question is uh, we have to design a circuit that will produce this waveform or produce this sequence given sequence 3110 3110 and it should keep on generating it right so what we will have to do is solution part first we have to figure out the sequence and the number of flip flops required for that sequence so number of flip flops will be can be calculated by this exp uh, general expression 2 to the power n minus 1 this is in power n minus 1 has to be greater than number of bits in required sequence what is the required sequence not the whole one only this part 3110 4 bits are there so here 4 will come right now we have to find a value of n small n such that this expression will hold so let's try n equal to 2 so 2 to the power 2 minus 1 greater than equal to 4 will this expression will be satisfied 2 to the power 2 to the power 2 minus 1 is 1 2 to the power 1 is 2 only right is 2 is greater than equal to 4 no right so we will try some other value 2 to the power let's say 3 3 minus 1 is greater than equal to 4 is this expression is valid 2 to the power 3 minus 1 is 2 2 to the power 2 is 4 4 is equal to 4 only right so this is valid n equal to small n equal to 3 is valid 
now can we put n equal to 4 yes we can put n equal to 4 here 2 to the power 4 minus 1 will be 2 to the power 3 8 8 is greater than equal to 4 but we don't want extra complexity right we don't want extra hardware that will increase the complexity as well as the cost hence we go for the minimum value which will satisfy minimum value of n which will satisfy this expression that many flip-flops will be required so n equal to 3 means 3 flip-flops are required to generate this kind of sequence okay now this is uh, the expression uh, we have calculated the number of flip-flops now we have to assign the states assignment of unique states to each bit in required sequence each bit in required sequence we have to assign a unique state how many bits are there four bits are there for each bit you have to assign a unique state unique state means it is should be each bit should be identifiable right how you want to decide whether this one is different than this one or this one is different than this one second one right so that's why we are doing a state assignment so that each of them will be uniquely identified so for example here you can see if i take flip-flop 2 this this expression will be make, will make sense here if the uh, flip-flops i have taken is 2 how, what variables i can have q1 and q0 from q0 i am trying to produce this required sequence so i have written triple one zero here so q0 will keep on producing triple one zero triple one zero triple one zero one then one then one then zero then again one 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 zero like this so this kind of waveform we can expect but what will happen here if i'll put any now q1 q1 i have not written because this is the user's choice means like a designer's choice you can say i can put any zeros or ones combination but what problem i'll have if i'll uh, uh, let's say if i'll write um, let's say i'll write zero one 0 0 now what will happen these two are same 0 1 0 1 so there is no unique states these two states are same only right so no unique statement state we are able to assign let's say we can try 1 0 1 1 then also these two guys are same right so we can't put like this or we can write 0 0 1 1 then also you can see these two states are same so we are not able to assign a unique state to each of the bits with two flip-flops right so you are able to see how this expression is valid so if we'll go for three if we'll go for three flip-flops i can have any combination if i will write zero 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 one one zero one one so this is what one this is three this is five and this is 6 each of them are different 1 3 5 6 right each of them are different so uniquely we are able to assign a state to each of the bits although our main thing is we are getting from q0 but to design the circuit we need to follow this rule as well okay now uh, you can also have different thing like uh, let me write here um, what I can try is uh, let's say 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 this also we can try here you can see this is 1 this is 3 this is 5 this is 0 right so this will also work because all three of them all four of them are different 1 3 5 7 and none of the entries are same so we are uniquely uh, able to, we are able to uniquely assign the states now after this this uh, you can use it for excitation table uh, so here i will be using uh, let's say this time jk flip flop so for this q2 there will be j2 k2 then j1 k1 then j0 k0 right so this will be the excitation table uh, i'll show you the next so i hope you are able to see these two points this is the most important point where your mind will come into the picture means designer will uniquely uh, to, uh, means like designer will put some bits extra so that each of the bit will be uniquely identified that's where you have to you, there is no rule you can do anything just you have to make sure no row two rows or three rows should be same 
right? And from here you will be able to get how many flip flops are required. Now I'll move on with the excitation table. So let me show you excitation table next. Okay, now the next step is excitation table. So here you can see I have made the sequence 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. 0 1 1 then 1 0 1 1 0 1 then 0 0 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 right so sequence whatever the required so you can see q0 is giving triple 1 0 triple 1 0 so now uh, you have to decide the inputs uh, this time i am taking jk flip flop synchronous counter you can use any flip flop mostly we have seen d type or t type uh, but uh, just for simplicity sake but you can also go for jk or sr so just for your uh, comfortness I am taking JK this time. If you remember the excitation table of JK is 00011011. This is the present state next state. Then JK will be 01 cross cross 01 cross cross. This is what we have seen before. So I will apply here. Let us see if Q2 this this is for J2 K2 is for Q2 and Q for Q1 you have two inputs Q0 you have two inputs. Okay. So Q2 Q2 plus if you will see 00 and j if you see it will be 0 then uh, 0 1 it is 1 1 0 it is cross and again 0 0 it is 0 and for k if you will see 0 0 it is cross 0 1 it is cross 1 0 it is 1 then 0 0 again it is cross similarly for uh, q1 look at q1 so 0 1 0 1 it is 1 1 0 it is cross right uh, 0 0 it is 0 0 0 it is 0 look for k 0 1 and 1 0 so cross 1 cross 1 then 0 0 cross cross right cross 1 cross cross this is zero. then last if you look at 1 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 so 1 1 it is um, cross here and 0 here uh, similarly here cross 0 last guy 1 0 uh, 1 0 is cross 1 and 0 1 is 1 cross right now I can remove this now you have the the excitation table ready now for each of the input you have to calculate the expression so we will make k, k maps and you will be getting expression for each of them j2 k2 j1 k1 j0 k0 let's do that now okay now let's uh, make the k maps for all of it so j2 k2 j1 i have made here uh, next i'll make uh, uh, k1 j0 and k0 so here you can see it's a three variable k q2 q1 q0 so three variable k map i have made this is for j2 this is for k2 this is for j1 so here you can see 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 so you can see <coughs> only four inputs are given to you rest of them you will be taking as don't care okay so the black crosses are don't care which are not given in the input here so we are taking their output as don't care <coughs> rest of it you can see in j2 you have 0 1 cross 0 so uh, 0 1 cross 0 okay 0 i am representing with the dots and 1 is as it is and cross given here is represented in blue and whatever don't care inputs we have for black we have that crosses right so you can see there is a is a group here so this will be called as j2 is equal to q1 right uh, so this one only we had to pair here you can see the pairing can be made full so this becomes k2 is equal to 1 and here you can see there is no pair of 4 only pair of 2 is possible so q2 bar which is this guy and q0 which is this guy so q2 bar q0 q1 and 1 now i'll make for k2 and uh, uh, sorry uh, k1 uh, now i'll make for k1 j0 and k0 okay let's see what will be the expression for that okay now let's look at the uh, uh, next other expressions k1 j0 k0 so you can see here k1 it is um, uh, one only uh, so pair like this you can make is uh, what cross one cross cross so this is uh, cross one and cross cross 
right and rest of the crosses are there so one it is similarly you can see uh, for j0 cross 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 one so cross 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 one and then here also you can make a pair a whole pair so it will be one similarly if you will seek for k0 it is 0 0 1 cross so 0 0 1 cross rest of the crosses so you can see a pair like this pair of four that is q2 so you have the expressions all the expressions now so j2 is q1 k2 is 1 j1 is q2 bar q0 k1 is 1 and j0 is 1 k0 is q2 right? this is the expression now we can make a, a, a circuit so let me do that uh, finally okay now you can see the the circuit diagram i have made here so j2 is q1 j2 is q1 k2 is q1 k2 is 1 j1 is q2 bar q0 so q2 bar q0 ended and given to j1 k1 is 1 j0 is 1 k0 is q2 this q2 is taken here so this is how the circuit will look like and the clocks are given at the same time to all the flip flops so it's a synchronous counter and uh, it is uh, it is the q0 part is giving you the required sequence that is 1110111011110 likewise it is goes on and on okay so synchronous type you can see it is a synchronous counter and it is giving you uh, the required sequence and you can see why we don't use jk it increases the the uh, calculation you have to make more k maps you have to look for the input so that's why d flip flops and t flip flop only single inputs are there that's why they are much more easier to design with you can also use sr and you will have sim sim similar type of problem there as well just for the completeness or comfortness sake for you i have uh, taken jk flip flop as well because i have not taken in the past i thought uh, in synchronous counter let me take jk type as well so this is the circuit this some um, box you can imagine uh, one big box you can imagine where clock this clock is being given and all four three outputs are there and one of the output is giving you this pulse okay this pulse so that is how you can imagine this circuit so you have some bunch of flip flops they are memory elements and combinational circuit uh, connected in some fashion and this is giving you the required sequence right so this is the process uh, we have to follow all the time so first we have to uh, decide what is the sequence required sequence the number of flip flop assign different assignments uh, unique assi states assign unique states then uh, write excitation table k maps then circuit right so this is the process all the time we will be following in this method uh, the other method second method will have different things so we will uh, look one by one let me take another example now 